What is a real estate hot sheet and why is it important? The term hot sheet can have a few different meanings, depending on really what industry it's coming from. In law enforcement, the hot sheet is the list of recently stolen vehicles. In real estate, it's the real-time data on a particular market. Back when stolen vehicles were part of my job, the enforcement of You used to be this badass cop out there on the street. Not the taking of. The hot sheet was one of my favorite things to study, really just to find the patterns in not just the neighborhoods being most affected, but also the most common makes, models, and years of vehicles being stolen. When I added the hot sheet to the locations where those cars were eventually recovered, I was able to build a profile of what to look for and where to find it. Now being in real estate, my interest in hot sheets has continued, and I really do believe they provide tremendous value to not only me as an agent, but also to prospective buyers and sellers. The hot sheet can provide information on new listings, homes recently under contract, homes recently sold, the prices, days on market, prices per foot, square foot, lot size, and price reductions. Now, I'm not suggesting you should religiously track the goings on in real estate indefinitely, but where I do feel it works is when someone is starting to consider the idea of selling a home or purchasing one. The hot sheet can help provide some insight about what's going on with inventory, transactions, prices, and buyer demand. You can take a look at the numbers and see what direction things are trending. Obviously, I think it's best to talk with a real estate professional and kind of get their analysis of the information. But you might be hesitant because you don't want to feel any pressure to act or you might be worried the agent will skew the data, just adding to your confusion. By periodically checking the hot sheet, you'll be able to see the data in black and white. Then, when you do speak with a realtor, they can provide some context based on their knowledge and expertise and that should help you to interpret the data in a realistic and tangible way. Real quick, if this video is helpful to you, a subscribe would mean the world to me. It's simple, you just click subscribe and it adds to it to the subscribe list. But what it does for me is it lets me know there's an audience out there and that I'm creating some helpful content for people. For potential sellers, you'll get an idea of the amount of competition you may be facing in your market, as well as what other sellers are asking, um, what they're actually receiving, how long they're on the market, and you'll have a general idea of where your home would be positioned within the market. For potential buyers, you can take the same information and get an idea of available inventory, the difference between asking prices and actual closing prices, to really have an overall idea of what cost you might be looking at for a particular late location or size of home, or you can use the price reduction information to find a great investment opportunity that previously seemed less attainable. You can also use the days on market to estimate the level of demand and competition you might be facing. Even with all this information, I would highly recommend talking with an agent for their interpretation of the data as well. Buying or selling a house is a huge decision and an investment in your future. So you really should have the best understanding of the market when deciding whether buying or selling now makes sense for you. If you have any specific questions about the Orange County real estate market, click the first link in the description to book a buyer call, a seller call, or a discovery call with me just to chat about the market. If you watched this video and got even an ounce of value out of it, all I ask is that you hit the like button and come back for more.